I want to tell you that if I put a little bit of this liquid and solution into an ocean, it will change the color of the ocean, the whole ocean will be polluted, and all the sea life will go to an end and die. What will come to your mind? This little bottle will kill everything in this ocean. This little bottle will cause the, the ocean to smell bad and ruin the color. So you will be amazed at how destructive this is. This is a disaster. What's in here? This little bottle. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Aisha tells us the story. Radiallahu anha. She said, قلت للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حسبك من صفية كذا وكذا. She was talking to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and the discussion of Safiya. Who's Safiya? Safiya is the wife of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. أم المؤمنين أمك وأمي. Our mother. So Aisha wants to kind of belittle Safiya and she did this with her hand. حسبك. What do you want from Safiya? تعني أنها قصيرة. Meaning she's this short girl. What do you want from this short girl? Did the Prophet وسلم, say, Sadaqti, this is true, it's a fact, it's not a big deal? Or did he address it? He took it so serious. He said, Wallahi, he said, Laqad qulti, O Aisha, you said a word, Kalima, Law muzijat bima il bahri la mazajatu. One word. Did he say something? No, she did this. Well, had the kalima. She said, Hasbuk Safiya kada. This move, this word, if it were to be put in an ocean, it will pollute the entire ocean. Kalima wahda, qatra, a drop, destroys everything. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa did teach us. A person may say one word, kalima, la yulqi laha bala. You never thought it's a big deal. What happens? Yaghdab Allah alayk. Allah's anger will be at you. And you'll go into hellfire. Then he said the same hadith. And you may say a word that is nice. Kalima hasana, tayyiba, Allahu akbar. You don't think it's a big deal, but because of it, Allah will be happy with you and you go to Jannah. One word, do not belittle that. And the summary of this khutbah in this ayah where Allah gives you three things. Don't do, don't do, don't do. Three things. Allah starts by saying, Ya ayyuhal ladhina, Mish ayyuhal nas, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. Or you who believe. Or you who believe there's yawm al-qiyamah. Or you who believe maliki yawm al What goes around comes around. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. That you will not go to Jannah until you love one another. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu. Number one. La yaskhar qawmun min qawm. Don't you ever mock, bully, ridicule one another. And Allah says qawm. Qawm yani jama'a, a group of people. And what's interesting, subhanallah, today as I was reviewing my notes, there's a website, stopbullying.gov. Mawqa hukumi about bullying. And the image they have, a surah, it was a group of women together and there's one girl by herself sad because sometimes the mockery was sukhriya takun bi quwa and majmu'a when they all gather up fi jam'a gathering talking to one another that's when the bullets start striking if you were alone sometimes this may not happen but if someone says a comment another comment then that's when you destroy others subhanallah may Allah protect us la yaskhar qawmun min qawm there's a lot of reasons a lot of reasons why not to. We'll give you one. Allah says, Asa an yakunu khayran minhum. The person you're making fun of, you're making a joke out of, can actually be better than the whole group. Allahu Akbar. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, an authentic hadith, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu went to get ila shajar al-araq, to get a miswak from a tree. And when he went up, jaat al rih the wind blew the clothing of Ibn Mas'ud. So what showed up? His shin, saqo. The Sahaba did not say anything. Ba'd al-Sahaba, some of them, dahiku, they laughed. <laughs> How thin it was. So the Prophet wants to verify, mimma tathakun, why are you laughing? They said, min diqqati saqay, for how skinny his shin are. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, wallahi, لَهُمَا أَثْقَلُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنْ جَبَلِ أُحُدْ The sin of Ibn Mas'ud on the scale on the Day of Judgment is heavier than the mountain of Uhud. عَسَىٰ أَنْ يَكُونُ خَيْرًا مِنْهُ That person might be better than, than the one, subhanAllah, making fun of so, so and so. May Allah protect us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Then Allah emphasized, وَلَا نِسَاءٌ مِنْ نِسَاءٌ 
Then Allah says, and especially women, not one woman making fun of another woman. Don't do that stuff. Don't do what Aisha radiyallahu anha did. And we have to be proud of Aisha because he rawiyat al-hadith to alibun al-khata. Allahu Akbar. She taught us this is wrong. Don't do what I did. Allahu Akbar. You can share that to make people understand the deen more and more. And you know, subhanallah, she says radiyallahu anha. She says, qalat wa hakaytu lahu insana. One time Aisha says, and I imitated, and he tamathilt. In the way I speak and the hand movements, insana, someone else. For the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he saw Aisha imitating someone. He said, ma uhibbu anni hakaytu insana wa anna li kada wa kada. He said, as for me, I don't like to ever imitate someone or mock someone, even if I would get paid for it. Subhanallah. Much of stand-up comedy today you get paid for mocking people. Subhanallah. He said, well, even if people pay me for it. I don't want to do that. And the ulama say, well, karahiya tazdad, and the dislike and the haram increases when it's belittling the actual people. May Allah protect us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, la yaskhar qawmun min qawm. Then Allah says, wala talmizu anfusakum. Two out of three. Wala talmizu anfusakum. There's multiple meanings to it. Ahad al-ma'ani is you mock. So talmizu is part of sukhriya, mockery. But Allah wants to specify this. This is a mockery that may not involve speech. ما فيها كلام. With a عين, a wink. إجا, he came. شوف. Right? ولا تلميزوا أنفسكم. What did Allah say? ولا تلميزوا المؤمنين من إخوانكم. No, Allah says, do not mock yourself. طبعا كيف أنا mock myself? I'm I'm mocking them. I'm 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 showing that they're weird, they're stupid, they're this, this, and that. No. Multiple things. When you do such move to someone, you open the door for others to do it to you. أول ما تتمسخر على الإنسان أنت فتحت الباب أن تتمسخروا عليه. The moment you mock someone, you say, you know what? I have an open door policy. I'm all yours. Mock me as much as you want. So be aware of that. The other thing, we are one body. كالجسد الواحد. That's what the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said. If your toe hurts, if your toe hurts, you're uncomfortable. You may have a headache. You have a mood swing because of a toe. And that's how the ummah is. You hurt someone, you're actually hurting yourself and the bigger picture. May Allah protect us. Another meaning, وَلَا تَلْمِزُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ You look weird when you actually do these moves. And if I were to مثلا, put this on YouTube and I make my thumbnail, me doing this. Like, what, is it, what kind of khatib is this? And this is how you look like when you make fun of other people. Another meaning, وَلَا تَلْمِزُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Don't mock yourself. It also means, مَا تنزل مِنْ مشتواك. مَا تنزل مِنْ قدرك. Don't say, I'm an idiot. وَلَا تَلْمِزُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Don't mock yourself. Don't say, I'm a loser. Uh, you know what? I wish I was a lot taller. I'm, I'm a short guy. Don't, no. Don't, don't. لَا تَوَطِّي مِنْ نَفْسِك. Respect yourself. Have uh, honor yourself. May Allah protect us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. وَلَا تَلْمِزُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Number three and last one, وَلَا تَنَابَزُوا بِالْأَلْقَابِ This is all part of the sukhriya, but Allah is emphasizing. وَلَا تَنَابَزُوا بِالْأَلْقَابِ Meaning, do not give people nicknames they don't like. Don't call someone such and such, Oh, you مشعرفات, so you're this, you're four eyes, wearing glasses. Don't do these things. Even if they smile and laugh. Even if they smile and laugh. I remember one time, I used to be a youth coordinator in a nearby city. And there's a brother, people used to call him noodles. Noodles, macaroni, nahif jiddan. Noodles. First day, I, I didn't say much. Second day and so on, I used to work on the weekends. So I went to this brother. Wallahi, honestly, I don't know his name. So I said, what's your name? He said, Muhammad. I said, they're calling you noodles. Do you actually like this? He said, honestly, no. Tabiakhi, speak up. No. Because a majmu'a qawm, they're talking noodles, noodles, noodles. So if I go speak up, they make fun of me. Oh, you're a mish'arif kada, you're not a real man. So you have to go. I had to go address the people. It was like 10, 15. Like the whole masjid, I don't even know his name, subhanAllah. May Allah forgive us. Stop calling him that. وَلَا تَنَابَزُوا بِالْأَلْقَابِ I personally, personally, I was bullied so much in middle school, only Allah knows how much. I used to go to school crying. The best part of school was my worst part of school, recess. We used to have break, go have lunch. I used to hate that. Because an example in North America, I was in grade six, that guy was in grade eight. So anytime we go to lunch, we used to go to lunch together. So I used to not want to go outside. 
because of what this man did to me. I used to hate it. And subhanAllah, thinking about it, my parents had the open door policy, but I was never maybe courageous enough to speak, or maybe I was not asked enough to speak, or maybe I was not educated about how damaging this may be. And I remember, subhanAllah, why would Allah emphasize this? May Allah grant you all Jannah. It's name calling, so it's one name. Because this one word, you may remember it till the day you go back to Allah. You may not remember a whole story, what they did to you, but you will remember a nickname people used to call you. That's how deep it can go. And the name I was called was Casper. I used to always be called Casper. Casper was Shabah al Abi, like a white ghost. Because subhanAllah, you know, land from land is different. Ard min ard. I used to be at a land that you, they used to make fun of how light skinned I was. Wallah al Azim, this person in another part of the world. Oh, Casper, Shabah, the white ghost has come. A'udhu billah. It's very difficult, very tough. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He ends it. So He said three things. In general, umum, do not make fun of people. Do not ridicule people. Don't make fun of, oh, where do you live? Detroit? Ugh, those people. Oh, Hamtramic? Astaghfirullah. Attaqillah wa fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The shoes they're wearing, the phone. And the iPhone 7 and iPhone 13. It's a joke, but do you think it doesn't hurt him? He may not tell you that. Even Wallah had the Rajul al Kabir. In front of their mom, in front of their son and daughter. But they act like, oh, whatever. Don't do these things. Then Allah says, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar rajim. He says, Wala talmizu anfusakum, number two. And number three, Wala tanabazu bil alqab. Then look what Allah says. Bi' salismu al fusuq ba'da al iman. How horrible is it for you to say, La ilaha illallah, and do these things? Bi' salismu al fusuq, how horrible is it? That you say, we're Mu'minun, Ummatun Muhammad, Umma Wahida, we're together. And then Tatmaskhar, and you make fun of this country and that person and that individual. Look at his car, look at this, look at that. May Allah protect us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Bi' salismu al fusuqu ba'da al iman. There's a very famous statement, it says, Kullu ina'in bima fihi yandah. Every container, whatever comes out of it, tells you what's in it. So people may not know who I am, may not know who you are until you start speaking. And the moment you say horrible things, it's a sign of a weak iman. And if you start saying good things, it's a sign that you have a good iman, insha'Allah. Then Allah ends the ayah, al-khitam. And if you do not repent, if you do not seek Allah's forgiveness, if you do not change your way and fix your mistake, this is dhulm, oppression. How do you make tawbah? How do you repent for something like that? If some ulama said, if your sukhriya, your mockery, your name calling is known to the person you're making fun of, you have to approach and talk to them because they heard it from you or heard it about you. So you go, seek their forgiveness, apologize, and you know how to speak inshallah. If they do not know you said that about them, if they never heard about you and your statements, do not tell them, but pray to Allah to forgive them, pray to Allah to honor them, until inshallah you'll be able to make that up bi'idhnillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. We'll have some concluding remarks, but in the second khutbah, aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru Allah li wa lakum fastaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Muhammad ibn Sirin, many of you know him, rahimahullah. Muhammad ibn Sirin, at the end of his lifetime, he was in so much debt fi duyun kathira, dukhila bi sababiha sijin. He went to prison at the end of his life. When he was in prison, he was thinking, what is the possible root cause that I'm in prison? Like, oh, he's not good at business. Okay, that, he's not good at business, maybe one thing. But what's the reason he messed up like this? Can he be of zayt in oil? He said, تذكرت وتذكرت ذنبا أذنبته قبل أربعين سنة. And one story 30. He says, I remembered a sin I committed 30 to 40 years ago. Allahu Akbar. What was it? ما هو الذنب؟ عيّرت رجلا وقلت له يا مفلس. He's because I remembered 30, 40 years ago there was a guy who was broke. So I said, oh, you broke, bankrupt guy. So he said, perhaps this is why now I'm broke to the extent I am in prison. Allahu Akbar. 
Can I share with you one statement as a response to this? Some ulama said, look at these grand scholars. They were able to remember the sins for how little they were. As for us, we have way too many. We can't even remember which one because of which what we went to this musibah and this disaster. May Allah protect us. So number one with the concluding remarks, three really quick. Number one, you need to stop this from happening, whether adults or youngsters. Stop it from happening. You see it happening in front of you, educate the person, respectfully talk to them, and you find your way in the culture to address it. And don't say, Wallahi, it's going to be embarrassing. Allah may question you for that. May Allah protect us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah protect us, Ya Rabbil Alameen, make us courageous and confident and strong. And please, part of you stopping this is you not doing it. La tafalha. And with all respect to my parents, Abai wa Ummati ala rasna, on my head, respect and honor. You should not be doing mockery to your children. That's one wrong. And the other wrong, that children will do it to others. I'll give you an example. This happened in front of my own eyes. A person is asking his child to bring him something from the, the kitchen. So that child goes to the kitchen. Where is the plate? I, I can't find it. Uh, where is it? Is it in the kitchen? No, it's not in the kitchen. It's in plural. This is mockery. Like, are you blind? So what happens? In takasart al walad, you broke that child, and that child in school, someone will say, "Hey, give me a pen." So then, what does the person say? Uh, uh, wait, in my pencil case? Well, are you blind? No, it's in plural. Subhanallah. So you have to be a qudwa, an example of your own, of how to talk and how to speak, and do, do to your children what you do not want people to do your child. May Allah protect us. Number two. Don't just avoid mocking people and saying wrong things. Number two, make sure when you speak, you speak beautifully. So don't think like, I just wanna, I'm not making fun. No, that's not your goal. Have a goal that I don't want to make fun of people. I don't want to hurt people. لا. Your goal, I want to benefit people. I want to make people feel good about themselves. That's not your target. I don't want people to feel bad. لا. لا. One of the khulafa had a dream and ru'ya. He dreamed that all his teeth fell off. كل أسنان وقعت. So مفسر أحلام, he got a dream interpreter. Uh, what's the matter? I had a dream where all my teeth fell and I want to know what it means. So the man says, all of them fell? Oh, what a musibah. Every teeth, every teeth. I have to tell you, you know what this means? Your mom will die. Your dad will die. Your kids will die. Your relatives will die. Then you'll be the last one to die. Your family members. So the man got upset. The Khalifa, kick him out of here. And they kicked him out. He was so de devastated. So then he said, give me someone else. So someone else came, a dream in interpreter. What's your dream? I, I dreamt all my teeth fell, every single tooth. He's like, Abshir Allahu Akbar. Abshir Allahu Akbar. This is good news. He's like, how? He says, this means you will live such a long life. Such a long life. And you'll be the last one to leave from your family. Same meaning, but the way it was said. Because what did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said? خيركم من طال عمره وحسن عمله. The best one is the one who lived long, lives long and does ish, righteous deeds. Allahu Akbar. So you see, it's the same meaning, but just how you say it. Lastly, the third and last, always remember, united we stand, divided we fall. Allah says there's shaitan. Inna shaytana yanzaghu baynahum. Shaytan will always try to make us hate one another. Shaytan will always try to make us look down upon one another. So do your best. When this happens, shaytan may be playing a role. So I say, A'udhu billahi minash shaytan.